Okay, what you might find after some time is that your Mac may start running slow. Uh, this is generally common as you start installing new applications, you may upgrade the new operating system on your Mac. Uh, you may just find that it starts running slow after a few years. Uh, there is a few things that you can do to speed up your Mac, so you don't need to necessarily go out and buy a new one. Uh, so these are just some helpful tips on what you can do. So the first thing that I generally like to do is uh, look at your login items. So when your computer is starting up, there's a whole bunch of applications that are running uh, that are starting up in the background. So speeding uh, your computer up by removing those uh, generally can fix that as well. So what you need to do is you need to open up System Preferences. So you can go into Apple System Preferences, or you can just go into uh, your dock and open up System Preferences, which looks like that. All right. So what you want to do in here is go into Users and Computers. All right. You'll see your current user. Okay. And then you'll see in here Login Items. So if you select login items, you'll see a list of applications here that start when your computer starts. You may have a lot more than what I have here. So what you need to do is you select the apps that you want. Okay. And then you could, well, that's to hide them. All right. So by hiding them, they will just, uh, they won't start up necessarily, but they'll still be listed on here. All the other thing you can do is actually select it and click delete on your Mac, okay? And that's actually just removed that iTunes helper from starting up every single time my computer boots. All right, so by doing that, that should fix up some things. The next thing you can do is you go to Disk Utility and do some uh, permission repairs and disk repairs. So what you do is you go into your Spotlight and you go Disk Utility. and that will open that up. Okay, so in your disk utility, you'll have listed in here your hard drive, you'll have listed any other external hard drives and maybe if you've got a DVD drive as well. So what you want to do is you select the top one and you click on repair disk. I won't do it for mine just because it takes a little bit of time, but that will just repair a number of issues that you may have on your, on your disk, for example. The other important thing is to repair disk permission. So you select on the one underneath. In my case, it's local HDD. Yours could be called something else. And you click on repair disk permissions. So what that's going to do, that's going to go and scan your Mac. It's going to clean up any files that may have been corrupted, any permissions related um, issues on some folders or some files, and would fix a few issues up as well. Okay, so that's another thing you can do. Another thing is to check your activity monitor. So what the activity monitor is used for, it will show you a list of all the applications that are running and how much RAM and how much CPU, for example, those applications are using. So to open that, again, we go into Spotlight and we go to activity monitor. Okay, so you want to open that up. And that opens up there. So, this is going to give me a list of all the apps that are currently running in the background. This is, uh, it's broken up into lists, CPU, memory, how much disk usage, how much network it's taking, etc. So, let's look at CPU and memory. And what you want to do is sort it by CPU. So, to sort it, you click on that. So, that will sort it by the zeros, or we want to sort it by what's taking up the most. Now, where you're looking at here, QuickTime Player at the moment is running a lot of uh, percentage in the CPU. And this is because I'm recording this video, so it's going to be using up a lot. But see if you've got any other applications that are taking up a lot of CPU um, CPU usage. Uh, it may be time for those applications to perhaps get removed. So if you've got a number of browsers, you're using Firefox, Safari, and Chrome, perhaps you know Firefox is using a lot or Chrome is using a lot, you may need to remove those and just stick to one browser or a few other things like that. So just looking at your CPU usage, memory, exactly the same thing, sort it by how much memory an app is using. Okay, so I've got a few apps here that are using a lot. So you may need to just consider 
whether these are useful applications that you cannot live without. If there's apps that you don't necessarily need, removing those will generally speed up some parts of your computer. Okay, going back to, our, to your applications, if you open up your Finder, okay, and you go into Applications, this is where all your applications live. All right. What you want to do is you always want to try to have as much disk space as possible. Now you'll see that down here for me, I've got 46.19 gig free. Now it's not, it's not uh, I guess, a lot of disk space. There could be more that I could remove. But by going through here and removing apps that you don't necessarily need to free up some disk space may also fix some issues that you're having. Uh, removing any unwanted files, so from your documents, any movies, music, uh, pictures, etc., may also fix up uh, some of your speed issues by freeing up more hard drive space on your computer. Okay? The other thing that you can do is this is more for your Safari uh, browsing, so for your internet browsing. So if you're using Safari as your browser, if you open up Safari, Okay, that's Safari here. You can also clear all your Safari settings and history. Uh, this will clear up your bookmark, uh, not your bookmarks, your uh, your cache, your history, any saved files that you may have. Uh, and by doing this, it will speed up a few things as well. So to open up, uh, to do that, you have to open up Safari. You go to Safari and you click on Clear History and Website Data. Okay, so you select on that. So I want to say you want to clear all history and we'll clear history. Okay. All right. Uh, lastly, what you could do is if you go into Apple about this Mac, that's going to show you a summary of your computer. Okay. So you see that I'm running Yosemite or Yosemite, however you want to call it. I'm running a bit of an older Mac here but I'm running eight gig of memory. So memory is the same thing as RAM. What you may want to do is buy some extra RAM or some extra memory to speed up your computer. So what you'll need to do is go and find your computer first. So what type of computer you've got and determine how much memory you have and whether you can put more memory into it. So the best way is if you just do a search on Google for your computer and type in, you know, perhaps iMac 24 inch early 2009 uh, maximum memory, for example, you get a list of how much RAM your computer can actually take. So if you if you are running, say, four gig or two gig worth of RAM, it's more likely that your computer could run some extra RAM. So you'll have to determine that, and then you could just pop down to your either your Apple Store or your local PC store and purchase some more RAM with the same specs. So DDR3, you know, 1067 megahertz, for example. Okay, and you insert that, or you can get your computer store to insert that, and that could also speed up some things. All right, so they're just some basic tips on how to speed up your Mac. I hope that works for you.